All right, y'all. So let's talk about PlayStation Showcase that just happened a couple of days ago. I wanted to talk about two games in particular. I will be discussing the other games on our website, so you can definitely check out more thoughts over there over the weekend. But the two games I want to talk about are Spider-Man 2 as well as Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater, the remastered edition. Now, they are making a collection of the Metal Gear Solid 1, Metal Gear Solid 2, as well as Metal Gear Solid 3, which includes Snake Eater. And that is going to come in the fall, but that is sort of like more of a... Um, collection of sorts you like the original games and all of that now the remaster for Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater is going to be from the ground up so kind of in the likes of Resident Evil 4 remake that just came out now definitely one of my most anticipated titles of the year that's across all media not just video games I think that Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater is the best one and that's up for debate I, I know of course some people love uh, number two um, some people love uh, number four and so on and so forth but I really do enjoy number three whether it's nostalgia or whether it was just the first game I ever played for Metal Gear Solid the series it is definitely up there as one of my favorite games of all time so when I saw that trailer when the PlayStation showcase happened I was ecstatic I was blown away and I'm definitely here ready for this 100% I really do think that that is a game that really deserved a remake and really deserved it um, 100% now people are saying why start with this game and I think it's because it's the one in the chronological order um, that comes first and I think they want to go in those steps because I noticed that it was just called Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater not Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater so I don't know if they're trying to do the whole series in chronological order next but we'll see what happens with that um, overall though this trailer was great um, even though it didn't give much of the actual gameplay footage I think it was still a good way to give off the vibes of what this is going to feel like and be like I don't know if it's coming at the end of the year or at the beginning of next year but I'm definitely here anticipating waiting to see how this is going to be and ready to just get back into that world it is definitely one of those games that I think is just so so deserving of this remake and so much can be done and I'm curious to see how the voices and everything will be done as well for it and also everything from the boss battles are so legendary to the whole like cinematic feel the music and all of that so very excited for snake eater let me know your thoughts and opinions on it down below let's talk about spider-man 2 which we have been waiting for almost 600 and something days to see something new from it we finally got the uh gameplay we got some also new announcements as well the craven the hunter trailer was pretty dope i really am excited to see craven the hunter in the game we know we are getting that movie from sony as well so they're definitely trying to to ramp up some marketing here for sure and we'll see how that's going to work out once the movie does release for Craven the Hunter later this year um, but I'm excited for this the gameplay looks amazing it looks very much so um, smoother you can um, get to places quicker as well it seems but I think that the big thing everybody's talking about is that we have Peter Parker in the symbiote suit which is a big thing um, especially considering the fact that Miles Morales is in here with him as well and we see a lot of sort of this um, drifting going on between the two in this gameplay that that we saw and it looks like they're really going to explore those themes of losing a friend and them being just right there and also uh, which I think can add some pretty unique gameplay to this as well and this whole situation between Miles maybe having to go up against Peter as well which is without a doubt going to happen in this new movie um, movie well it kind of is like a movie but I, I'm, I'm being serious I think that this is going to be one of the best games of the year maybe one of the best games of the decade it looks like it has all of that potential and more um, Craven the Hunter's trailer looked amazing very cinematic very cool looking design for Craven the Hunter as well here um, and I'm excited to see how this is going to be once it comes out now this one is for sure coming out in the fall um, we are going to be getting that um, only on PS5 however so that's a big thing for me I don't have a PS5 at the moment but I'm definitely working on getting one for sure because I do want to stream this game once it comes out and one thing I will say is we will start streaming the other games um, the first Spider-Man the Miles Morales extension all of that here on the channel as well later on as we get closer to release dates for that as well as the Metal Gear Solid game so that's going to be coming soon we are doing more gaming stuff as you can tell we slowly start to introduce it again we started doing it a lot more last year uh, we started doing live streams and everything we started to figure out how to do that better so now we are going to be introducing more gaming stuff here as well as music but we're still doing a lot of the movie stuff however so don't fret on that but very excited to bring all of these updates from the PlayStation Showcase which also included a new Final Fantasy game as well as Assassin's Creed and so much more so very very good um, presentation we are getting some more um, game announcements coming pretty soon so very excited for that but let me know your thoughts and opinions what are your thoughts on Metal Gear Solid getting a remake are you a fan of Snake Eater or would you have preferred the other ones to come first before that one did 
Like I said, I'm a big fan of Snake Eater. That's my favorite Metal Gear Solid game. Whether it's Nostalgia or just the first game I ever played from Metal Gear Solid, the series, it is still my favorite, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Let me know what you think about the Spider-Man 2 game as well. I was hoping we would hear more about the Wolverine game. That is something I'm considering um, that they are definitely very, very backed up on. But we'll see if we get any announcements later in the summer, maybe. Um, also, the Last of Us faction game was something I thought we were going to hear more about in this showcase. But, of course, we didn't get information on that just yet but i'm curious to see if that's going to be saved up more for the summer or not but i think that these two games spider-man 2 and metal gear solid snake eater are definitely good ones to start off with very big titles very big franchises and definitely ones that i would definitely be excited for 100 percent but let me know your thoughts and opinions down below as well as what you want to see more of us talking about gaming do you want to see more of these videos in longer form or should we do shorts only for them we're definitely going to be um mixing and matching them out um experimenting if you will with shorts and long form videos for video games see what works better but we definitely are going to be doing a lot more of it on the um, website and some let's plays here for sure but anyways as always that is going to do it for me let me know your favorite announcement from playstation showcase as well as make sure you are entering our giveaway we're currently running a giveaway for 28 thousand subscribers we will announce the winner so you have 300 about 300 subscribers before we get to that all you have to do to enter the giveaway is be subscribed to the channel hit that notification bell so you know when the giveaway announcement video comes out so you know if you won or not and also make sure you are commenting down below I want to enter the giveaway that gets you an entry into the giveaway which is going to be a big prize pack that we are going to send out to a lucky winner that will be announced at 28,000 subscribers and all you have to do is just be subscribed and comment below I want to enter the giveaway but that's going to do it for me we are currently trying to get to our next goal which is 30,000 subscribers we're trying to get that before the summer we definitely can do that I know for sure but if you are a fan of Yellow Jackets I do have my video on the finale up already we will be talking Succession and Barry this weekend as both of those shows are ending and we currently will have a let's play of the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre game that is coming out later in August we got a chance to play the test um, gameplay so we are going to be uploading those reactions and all that and we'll be streaming it over the weekend as well so make sure you're subscribed for all of those things that are coming to the channel and follow us wherever you can on Twitter Instagram TikTok I'll provide it over here at the end. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Stay safe, stay positive.